Good afternoon. It is July the 20th, 2017. Time to take a look at today, the Globex session, and the opening tomorrow morning. We'll start with a disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations, and like an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as a lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, we like the e-mini. And we had um, our first buy was in the 70 area right here. In fact, we moved it up to 72, 50, 74, and it produced a very small trade right there. Our number two buy was 65, 67, and got two trades off of that idea, both of them profitable. Trade of the day came off of a retest failure, failure to take the market through. Uh, a leak from Mueller's investigation of uh, Russian interference with our elections took the market down, but after you start considering what was in the article and the rest of it, what can they actually do and will affect it? But so in high volatile situations, V tops and V bottoms are what you can trade. But having missed all of that, we got a beautiful retest failure here. Again, fits with our idea. And it looks like we're going to close the market in the uh, 2473 area. Still poised to trade higher. So it's really, really hard to fight the tape in the E mini. I mean, when you look at it, Ah, uh, this is a strong market to the upside. Close above 2475. Next stop's 2500. And I don't see any reason for it not to go to 2500. Um, looking at the F2 screen, it's a P put in backwards and P's put in backwards, and up markets are long liquidation. And we bring in new buying, and that new buying was against 65 right here. So 60 to 65 is pretty good support in this market. Right now, 75 is resistance. Don't like the short side, but if we fail to take out and hold 24.75, can sell failure. That situation, next sell would be 79.81. No news tomorrow. Baker Hughes rig count, so essentially no news. On the uh, buy side, last rotate down stopped right at 70, so 71.69 by one. 65, 67 by 2. Pretty much where we were this morning when we started out. In fact, it looks like the same call, doesn't it? Treasuries were higher. Um, it's hard to say, you know, what Draghi basically said in the announcement was dovish. Um, so the ECB is not raising interest rates anytime soon. They'll do anything and everything uh, that is necessary to support their economies and their markets. Uh, so the market read that no interest rate increase anytime soon. And because treasuries actually pay interest, a lot more interest than uh, European uh, sovereign debt does buy treasuries, etc. Uh, Draghi, when he picked up the mic, whipsawed the market because the euro rallied back pretty strongly. Didn't really impact um, treasuries all that much. And then we had end of the day profit taking. Uh, next week we have the two, five, and seven year auction. And typically, when the um, amounts of the next week's auctions are announced, we get selling Thursday afternoon and Friday setting up next week's auction. So we'll see if that is the case today. As far as F1 is concerned, find a place to buy it. Looking at F2, it's pretty square. Volume slightly leans P, but it's you can see right here that we've got a V pattern. Uh, last rotate up stopped at 3.5. So... 4 to 8, sell 1. 11 to 15, sell 2. 
on the buy side. Have the low at 31, so 28 uh, the buck, buy one. And 21, 25, buy two. Looking at the 30-year, my favorite contract. I love it. It's 31.25 a tick, and then it is very, very reliable at the edges. But that 31.25 a tick is hard to overlook. Okay, last rotate up stopped at nine, so eight to 12 is number one. 15 to 19 sell one. 23, 27, sell 2. Buy side, rotate down, stopped at 01, so 28 to the buck, number 1. 21, 25, buy 1. And we'll make 9, 13, buy 2. Idea is that they'll probably sell it tomorrow to set up next week's auctions. Looking at gold, outside day, trading range. So F2 has two distributions. Maybe. Um, had two distributions up, maybe started a third distribution down, so sellers at 45, so 44, 46, sell uh, 1, 49, 51, sell 2. On the buy side, 40, 42, buy 1, 35, 37, buy 2. You know, we've been pretty lucky this summer. We've, we've, we've had many, many days where we've been able to make our business plan pretty easily and make it quickly. Uh, we've had a couple of days this week where uh, it was the summer we expected, where things are really choppy. You get real quick moves and the market just dives for long periods of time. And that's the norm in the summer. So uh, actually, so far this summer, we're, we're doing pretty well as far as the trading environment goes and the ability to make our business plan. Okay, uh, higher low, higher high in crude, although we finished very weak. The day was expiration. And we managed to dodge a bullet on our last trade of the day, but a couple of weeks ago we could pretty regularly get a dime out of it. Right now we're looking at scratches and we've had maybe three losses so we haven't done very well I'm trying to guess where the close is and trade that. So we may have to go back and take a bigger picture and looking at the bigger picture we should have been looking for a place to sell it right not buy it. So we've got resistance at 47 47 and a quarter sell one 47.50 47.75 sell two Looks like we're going a little lower. 46.50, 46.75 by one. 46 even, 46 and a quarter by two. One of the nice things about summer is is that plenty of time to study, get into the books, market uh, the trading can be over pretty early a session like 10 and so we have afternoons to study and do that and that, that works out well too it gets us ready to rock and roll come fall and looking at the euro 
basically we were told today that uh, they're not going to be raising interest rates anytime soon and uh, we had uh, market got a lot stronger today than you would have anticipated off of that uh, Draghi when he picked up the mic came back and talked about doing anything and everything whatever it takes for any situation that could possibly come to come up the uh, European Central Bank would be there to support the economies the currencies all sorts of stuff so um, these guys um, are wordsmiths and word craftsmen first to start out 1675 sell one 117 even sell two 1650 buy one 16 and a quarter we'll just play market numbers buy two and that does it for this July the 20th 2017 I will see you bright and early in the morning hotter than blazes right here um, let's get it on tomorrow morning I'm out of here